Hello, welcome to part two of my competitive research. In part one, I talked about how to get hold of your audience. Your audience are the customers of your main competitors. So we identify who are your main competitors and how to use the web search engine technologies out there there are so many of them to get to the customers of your competitors so now in this presentation i am going to show you how to move the audience you have researched on you got their emails you got their contact telephone numbers you know the type of industry the technology they use now we want to move them you know into linkedin remember when you have the contacts of your audience they are cold emails they are cold contacts they don't know about you so we want to first of all use linkedin to establish a warm contact with them so i'm going to share with you how to upload your your contacts to LinkedIn and once you have established contact LinkedIn will send them invitation on your behalf so the first invitation is really to break the ice is the code contacts so LinkedIn will help you to do that LinkedIn will send them your headlines and invite them to connect with you I'm the only one who is using this I bet you you won't find this secret out there so once that initial uh, contact is established by LinkedIn, they will accept the invitation. They become your uh, connections or network members on LinkedIn. You can then start a rapport of you know, nurturing them, talking to them, and asking them what is their business, why they are on LinkedIn, and so on and so forth. Then, thereafter, we will establish what we refer to as LinkedIn uh, extension or apps that can help you to send messages to them, to send welcome message to them. That is not all what this app is doing. I'm going to show it to you as well. It will help you to collect the emails again, once again, from LinkedIn back to your desktop. And once you collect the emails back to your desktop, you can then begin to, you know, uh, uh, invite them or send them more series of uh, uh, email automation. You know, you can send them invitation to attend webinar. You can send them invitation to watch your videos. You can send them anything you want to send them because they are now part of your contacts. Some will accept, some will not. But if you have thousands of connections, definitely you will get two, four, even 10% of them subscribing, or more than 10% actually, subscribing to your opt-in or subscribing to your sales funnels. So uh, let me run it up quickly. It involves moving your code contacts to LinkedIn. LinkedIn send them invitation. They establish connection with you. We use an in-house software to also start a warm relationship, not just to endorse them, to start communication with them. You can send them email message or welcome message inside LinkedIn. And once this first initial warm connections or communications is established with them, we now take them back email sequence outside LinkedIn. So this is how the whole process is working and enjoy the recording. Thank you. So the first stage of our doing competitive research is to collect data about customers of our competitors. Uh, in these uh, examples I'm showing on the screen, 
I have actually collected a lot of data, millions of data, millions of customer data actually from you know, active campaigns, customers of active campaigns to customers have implemented software as a service or who regard themselves as software as a service owners, website of clothing, business, electronics, estate agents, fitness, full site, all shops, all e-commerce website, users, users of ClickFunnels, ClickBank, CoverKit, a website that have identified themselves as Cosotan, a website that have used Facebook likes or Facebook advertisement, website that have used Google advertisement, website that have used LinkedIn advertisement. So I have huge data. Now this data, this huge data, so to say, is code, it's useless until I start bringing them to LinkedIn. So I will, I can't start sending them any marketing in any way. It will be very dangerous. It will be regarded as spamming. So what I do is to bring them back to LinkedIn. I'm going to share example with you. I have prepared some data. Let's look for infusion uh, owners or users of infusion software. Users of infusion software. I have actually prepared this list, but let me show you the type of data I am talking about. If I can get to the main infusion website, let me click here. It's a huge database of users of infusion technology, which means these are customers who are either consultant or customers who who are business owners, customers who are using infusion soft to run their business, any sort of business. So they could fit the kind of client I want to be targeting to show them how to get more clients, for example, using LinkedIn. So it's a huge database consisting of domain names of owners of users of Infusionsoft. The, the amount they spend per month on advertising, or not necessarily advertising, it is called technological spend. The name of the company. So these two information, say for example, the name of the company and the domain name is relevant for me to engage them in what we refer to as LinkedIn match audience. This is not all. We have, uh, we can resegregate this by industry. So I don't just want to send invitation to connect with me on LinkedIn to every one of them. Maybe I want to specialize in a specific industry. I will filter in the work. It's in the work actually. I will filter them. I will deselect them and actually pick the type of industry. Let me just say business and industry or family parenting or those who are involved in education. So I can select whom I want to have contact with. So it will now give me only businesses involved in education, but they use Infusionsoft, you know, as a technology. That is not all. I could actually get hold of so many things. Uh, let me go back. It has removed the header. I go back to here we are. Uh, I don't want to talk about their traffic. We can use traffic in we as uh, as a means of contacting people. You have their telephone numbers. You have their email number here. You have their Twitter handle, their Facebook, their LinkedIn, their Google, printer test or printer test. GT Hub, Instagram, and so on. But here, you also have the actual people, the, the right people to contact in each of the company. Uh, for Infusionsoft, for example, there are about, about uh, 153,000 153, records of users of Infusionsoft. So I want to bring these records, all of them, to LinkedIn, and I will ask LinkedIn to send invitation uh, on my behalf to them so that they can connect with me on LinkedIn. This is the first stage. So let me show you this first stage 
of how I do it. So since I cannot send invitation to all of them at once, I only need their email. I will divide the list into small bits into 500 parts, 500 records in size. Well, this one is actually 1000. So I have about 50 something list. So I divided it into smaller list. I will now you know, upload them to LinkedIn. I'm going to show that to you how I do it. I will actually go to LinkedIn website. On my LinkedIn website, let's see what we can do here. I want to I want to zoom in. So you can see this is my connection. I currently have 25,966. Most of these connections uh, are established via the method which I'm going to show you right now. I will invite them to connect with me. So in that case, I will choose more options. Uh, remember, I have already prepared the list. I will choose more options. It will take me to a section where I can upload list. I will click on upload and I will choose a file which I already prepared. I will look for that file which I already prepared. Go to my Dropbox competitive research. I will look for Infusionsoft. Where are you? Infusionsoft is here. And since I have been uploading, I will check the last file where to start from. Probably I think I will start from 30. I will open it. It will bring it to for me to upload it to bring it for me to upload it to LinkedIn. I will then click upload. Just watch what it's doing. So now this is the secret. I want to explain it properly. I want to connect with users of Infusionsoft. So I did a research, got the contacts of users of Infusionsoft. So I bring that list of users of Infusionsoft back to LinkedIn. This is called address matching. That is you match a record in one database with another with the main database linkedin is the main database and there are customers or there are people i am interested in already in linkedin but i can't find them on linkedin i will bring my list to linkedin in this particular example you can see it found total of 759 connections from the list which from the 1000 list which I just uploaded. So you can see it finds a total of 759. So it is left for me to say, okay, uh, in this, I will select the ones I will connect with. But there are so many. That is not really what I want to do. I want to, they are called contacts to me. I want to use LinkedIn to send them my headlines. So let's do it. I will add connect. I will add them to my connection. Then the second report, I have covered this in my main lectures of uh, database marketing. So LinkedIn will now present a second report to me. Those people who are not yet on my LinkedIn, it will ask me to also connect with them. Like I have explained, these people, these emails could be right. They are right emails. I'm not doubting about that. But they are not on LinkedIn. I can send to them, but it may be that they are not emails used for LinkedIn. Say, for example, inquiry, inquiries. Excuse me. Inquiries is just an email not linked to a person. Of course, we have Joanne here. Maybe Joanne is not using this email for LinkedIn, or maybe Joanne is not on LinkedIn. Here we have Contato. Contato may not be a, a, a an email. May not be. It may be a generic email. So I don't connect with emails that doesn't have profile pictures or doesn't have people who are. Or who are already on LinkedIn. I don't know whether I have to take that again. I usually skip this section of uploading list. I will deselect and I will skip. So it shows back to me to tell me you have invited 759 people to connect. 
For the purpose of this exercise, I will say done for now. So what normally happens after a while, when LinkedIn send them invitation to connect with me, they will look at the invitation depending on what they see, they will accept or not accept. I'm going to show you example of such invitation that LinkedIn will send to them. Okay, by the way, in my website, what I have just done is this. We we'll research your best prospect from our database. We upload code invitation to connect is sent out to them by LinkedIn. I said 40% of prospect will accept your code invitation. Now, this is the type of message they will receive. They will receive my headlines how to crush your competitors with competitive research and win their customers. I'm going to show you this on LinkedIn. Well, I change my profile headlines now and then depending on, on, the, on whom I'm contacting or whom I'm targeting. As at the time I sent this, I was just on 25,860 connections. You can see since then, it has jumped to 900. More than 100 people have connected with me. It's very significant. It's a huge number. So they will accept. They will click on accept once they receive this invitation with my profile picture and my headlines. The, the correct headlines which I am using right now, we have to obtain it from my LinkedIn. Let's go back to LinkedIn. Let's go back to home. Well, not whom already. These are the people who are in connection with me after LinkedIn have sent them invitation. Let's go to whom to see my headlines. You can see this is the headline LinkedIn will now send to them. Let's zoom in. So LinkedIn will send them the whole lot of this headline. I help business get high ticket clients in any niche to call them for appointments. Try me. So this website will be displayed on the invitation they will be receiving. So this is better than, you know, sending them any other form of, uh, you know, customized invitation that LinkedIn will recommend. So just upload and send. LinkedIn will send them your your headline. So this is how this works. It doesn't take a while, depending on the time or the country you are targeting, it doesn't take a while for people to start accepting your connections. Let's go back again. For people to start accepting your connections, we can see all the connections which we have sent. So the issue is that this is the icebreaker, first of all. You now want to start sending the message. You can send the message one by one. Uh, you type on the message. Hi, how is your business? And so on. And, and so on and so forth. But out of 25,966 connections, how many, you know, a rapport can you do in this format? It is difficult. So this is why it is necessary to move on to the next stage of, you know, establishing a, a rapport with them, communication with them. But I use a software which I commissioned. I asked programmers to help me to develop the app. I now call it 678 LinkedIn GeoMiner. It's just the name I gave to it. It's like any other application but it's not just like any other application uh, because it doesn't give you problem it's not a it's not a chrome base i operate it from my from my desktop so i'm going to show you that software uh, right now okay here is the software which i have launched and it will connect to my linkedin account it's a, it's a desktop base so to, it will establish connection to my LinkedIn. It will log in to my LinkedIn account and establish connection. This is what exactly what it's doing. So it uses Chrome, like I said, but it is something that operates from my desktop. Here it is. 
I can use it to send connection requests if my account is not restricted. I can send message to group members. I can withdraw. I use it for sales navigation. But of importance is I can use it to send messages. So now I have brought in people from Infusionsoft. Well, not really Infusionsoft. I keep on making this mistake. I have collected customers data i can use it to now start communicating with customers of my competitors that i have invited to linkedin for example i have invited customers of infusionsoft or clients using infusionsoft as a technology so what i will do is uh, I will search, I will use the search panel or from connection page to search for clients I want to be communicating with. I want to go there now to see what it's doing. So instead of me to start uh, sending messages to these people one by one, it will take over that function. I would say the number of people I want to send uh, communication to. Actually, it can send a welcome message. Let's see. Send introduction message. But I want to send a personalized welcome message from connection. So I will specify the time delay to connect to each person and the last person on my connection or who joined who accepted my connection is jordan let's go back and look at it it's jordan this is the last person that have joined my connection connection acceptance so i will go here and check the last person whom i have sent message to so start name becomes my last person the last person is dries Didi. So I will go back to to see here. I will include end name. I will type Dries. Didi. I think so. Now I have also prepared connection message which I sent to people. I call it welcome message. I have already prepared that. So since the last time I sent, it will send them this from Dries, no, from Jordan, let's just remove that, from Jordan to Dries Didi. I don't want to send duplicate. I will check for duplicate so that it doesn't mistakenly send to somebody I have sent to. So from Jordan to Dries, it will send them this welcome message. I want you to pay particular attention to this because I'm going to use this information to get their emails later on. Then I will click go so that is it i will go and relax and it will be sending them from jordan to dris didi which is the last set of people that have joined my connection it will send them a welcome message request one sent into so instead of me to be sending messages one by one so the application will take over this automation this is the second uh, process of breaking the ice so sending them welcome message some will look at my website some will reply some will not reply you know some will say okay thank you some will try to sell back to me <laughs> but what is important is now that they are now aware about me that i am in connection with them 
after that i will collect their emails once again because i have now sent them you know a warm message using linkedin so i use linkedin to break the ice i use linkedin to send them code invitation and they accept that code invitation at the same time using my geo miner i send them a welcome message and they will read the welcome message so we visit my website so we not be interested actually in what i'm doing at the initial stage the last stage is now to collect their emails and bring it to you know an automation or a marketing automation system say for example like active campaign and begin to send them series of you know messages on why they should do business with me until they unsubscribe or until they move into my main sales uh, funnel this cost me zero money except that the, there is initial cost of the software there is also the initial cost of uh, doing the research you know to to get their emails and contact details like i was showing to you it doesn't come free but over time it is zero cost to me so i want to do this to you i want to set up the system to, uh, for you as well let's go back to the main software you see it's doing that so we will wait until it finish sending the message to all of them. We just have to wait. Okay, here we are. It has finished, but I want to show few things to you. Remember, we started with uh, Jordan and we ended it with Dries. Dries was the last person in my previous welcome message. So it will not send to you. Dries, it will say sent earlier. Now Jordan will now become my last person in my future welcome message. It will also not send to Jordan. If we go back to message history, you see Jordan now replaces Dries, and we now have Salvatore. So Jordan will now be the last. And Salvatore have just joined. Why Jordan will be the last? Now this is so powerful because as you send welcome message, let's go back. People will start replying you immediately. What type of welcome message we sent? It is this. You can see it. Thank you for accepting my invitation to connect with you. Do you perhaps have needs for more clients this year? The reason I am asking is that I help business owners to get high ticket clients to call them all done using LinkedIn automated prospecting system. There is a free article on this, which I refer them back to my website. Some will go, some will not go. And so on. And then I put the, the image of the LinkedIn automation system and the link to my website. You can see it's immediately some who are online who are interested will reply i will get back to you majority will not you can see the message sent you can see all of them i have sent them either they are not online as at the time i was sending or they just ignore there are so many but that is the breaking of the ice which you know we are interested in Let's see the person that replies immediately to which I have just begun to communicate with him. Hi, Eric. The same message was sent. Eric immediately replied. I assume this is an automated prospecting system message. Lo. So it gives me opportunity to start communicating. I say combination of automation and one on one. It starts with establishing connection with you manually as user of say Infusionsoft. So I'm trying to pin him down that he is on or he is a client of Infusionsoft. So to know how exactly I got him, then I show him some examples and at the same time try to create, you know, 
sample list immediately of his clients who are in here because he is in an architectural design. So I quickly use my search system to pull out a plumbing website or owners of plumbing website. I got about 539 current plumbing customers I can give to him immediately. So I leave that one for him to decide upon. Now again, before as soon as soon as we, you upload your list, you will start receiving connection acceptance. It doesn't take much time. You see, this one I have already uh, uh, accepted. So many people, one, two, three, actually, they have accepted connection request. If we go back to the total connection, let's see how it has grown within that couple of minutes or few hours. You remember the last person was Jordan. We have now got about three more people accepting our connection request as soon as LinkedIn send them an uh, invitation to, con to connect. So I could start sending this message immediately or, or messaging them immediately, but then I rather allow my GeoMiner to do it methodolic, uh, systematically. Uh, now, let me go back to, uh, I, you could download all of these contacts. Let's show you example. All my contacts, I normally download them. Contact name, their first name, and their last name. In the past, LinkedIn used to give us opportunity to also download their email address and their company and position the time they joined you can then use this to start communicating with them to establish automated messaging system you can upload them to any prospecting system allow them to unsubscribe or to remain and enter into your phone but now the the problem here is that LinkedIn no longer make it available for us to have their email contacts. Now I solved that problem. Uh, you remember when we downloaded these contacts? Let's show it to you on this one. Let me close this. I hope I'm not closing the software entirely. When we we, we we copy this to a clipboard we click on this clipboard and we copy all of them let's show you that uh, yes. excel sheet i think it will be this you see jordan is here and the last person well it's difficult for me let's see the last person dries so actually we send the message to about 81 percent uh, because we have already done this before now you can see that here we don't have their email so i'm going to now show you how to get their email emails using my linkedin extension all i could do is to get this quite slow for me so i will get their linkedin ids their ids are here I will copy all of this to a clipboard again, only this. So, so I want you to see the power of, of my GeoMiner. I will go back to say Extract. I will say Extract, Upload LinkedIn IDs. I will click on this and then i will paste the linkedin ids here so what i've copied from clipboard i pasted it here you see dries was the last jordan was the first just for you to be sure jordan these are their linkedin profile id all address i will set the intervals Uh, follow LinkedIn connections. I can say, okay, fine, so that they know that I'm following them actually. 
which is not. The purpose of this is I want to get now their image, their contact image. So let's start. I will click start. So GeoMiner will go and fetch me their image. This is the only software that does that. You won't find it even in many of I have tried so many of the software before I commissioned this. So you give it a moment, you give it some time, it's not automatic, and it will fetch their emails for you. You can see it's logging in into Jordan's <laughs> profile page, other website. So it will go in and check for <laughs> Jordan's details. And then if Jordan exposes his emails, it will get it for me. Okay, so now Jordan will think that, oh, I'm really interested in him. I have visited his website, sorry, his profile page. He will come back and do the same for me. It will go to Sue's profile and collect it. That, that, was, that wasn't difficult at all. Let's go back. You see, it has extracted just first connection, no second connection, Jordan's email and Sue's was email. You can see these are their emails, including their telephone contact if they if they have, and including the company if they state their company previous work location, current, and so on. Twitter ID if they have, and so on. And this is important. I want you to look at this the total number of connections. So this is good for me because now if I want to sell to people to tell them I can help you build your connections. I don't need to concentrate more. I can still concentrate more on those having 500 plus connection. But my target will be those people having low connections. I show them how I got to 26,000 in connections. I show them this video and off they go, they will buy my services. Let's wait until it finish. I want to extract all the 80 something, I think 81 contact emails. And then once you get the emails, you can then use Connect 365 which is simple because these emails are not many, just under 100, content 365, to start drip message to them. And I bet you because Josh Turner's touch, uh, multi-touch uh, messages are very, very powerful. You can use, you can use those scripts. You don't need to start crafting different scripts all over. Just log in to your content 365 get the messaging script or you can connect to to you can up, upgrade your service to my uh, a free course i can give you some scripts to use but you have to <laughs> you have to pay something you know pay for connect 365 or upgrade and you get the service the right service for example this one have only nine <laughs> Two thousand nine people in connections. I can target all of this. Anyway, this is how this works. We will wait for it to finish. And so it has finished. As we can see here, uh, we have extracted all their emails. Of course, there are couples of. And so, as we can see, it has returned to zero. It means all the emails have been extracted. Uh, we can then click to clipboard in order to copy everything back to our Excel sheet. Let's see. We can actually paste it somewhere, but it's not the same. But we can just paste it somewhere here for comparison purposes. To see what we have done. The idea is to get the lost email here, but they are not the same files. You can see here 
we got the emails and not only the emails we have their contact telephone numbers their current company they are working for current company id previous location or previous company they are working for and so on i find it difficult to screw and there are and so many other things uh, of course like the one i was interested in total number of connections uh, we are more or less consigned with me we are more or less consigned with this section so i will take this all over again and put it in a new spreadsheet i will put it in a new spreadsheet and save it New spreadsheet and save it. Well, to prepare it, I don't need this column and this column. This will go. So I need the name column. Unfortunately, it's not able to give me first name and second name, but it's fine. You can address them in form of full names. You've got the telephone numbers of some that have telephone numbers on their profile page. You've got their current company, so you will need this. You've got their previous company. We don't want to deal with previous company, really. It doesn't matter. We will take this one out. Delete that and location maybe take their previous company out current company you see we take their previous company out we don't need that location yes we need location then we need their current role we don't need previous role we need their current role And then I don't think we need the rest of. We have their Twitter accounts. Not everybody are on Twitter, just like me. I'm on Twitter, but I'm not using Twitter as such. So we can take off from here. Can clean the data for the remaining section. So on. Then we can have the total number of people in the connections. Some are not. Uh, Okay, they are all having total number of connections and then we clean the rest. So this information you can now use for retargeting. Uh, because you have we have sent warm email welcome message. We can then uh, export this to our we can export this to our email marketing clients i use connect 365 so we can move the whole of this data to connect 365 and then put them in a drip message message one message two message three up to seven up to ten up to twenty up to hundred as long as you want either the opt out of your uh, marketing campaigns or the subscribed the other thing you could do maybe you want to verify whether these emails are working so that is for another class i'm not going to talk about that here because the more you have verified email the 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 better for for your for for your mail server not to be blacklisted Okay, so I will be discussing other other ways you can you can use this type of data. But for now, what I have done is to show you. I will repeat again to show you how to move uh, a client or how to move or how to uh, acquire leads from being cold. We didn't know them before. 
we uploaded the link say for example in uh, customers who uses infusion soft we uploaded the list to linkedin and some of them connected with us those who are connecting with us we sent them a warm message from the warm message we are able to get again their emails for the second time and it is this email we are now going to be using to carry out our marketing automation okay is there any other thing i want to show you i don't really think so you see more and more people are now joining since the last time we uploaded connection request now i will be talking later on some on some ways to protect your linkedin account because uh, linkedin doesn't want people to be using extension i will be teaching you you know how to uh, protect your activities you can see i have 25,966 so it's going to 26,000 i will get to 30,000 and these are predefined high quality leads so I, i'm not just allowing everybody to connect with me for example these past ones are those who are customers of infusion sort i can go on to customers of click customers of main competitors i know they will be interested in my service that though not every person but do somebody will find me and said he or she want to connect with me i do accept them but majority of people in my connections are people which i have predefined pre-selected and searched for them i got their emails before i upload them to linkedin okay thank you i will stop here this is a very long record